are live here on the Brush by Brandy Facebook page and on my YouTube channel as well. Uh, my name is Brandy and uh, my husband Sean is here behind the camera. He's going to help us answer any questions tonight. Um, we are going to do some painting tonight. I feel like I'm way off to the side for some reason. Yeah. Um, we're going to do some painting tonight. We're actually going to start a new piece and you guys this will be um, the last time that I'll be live with you, I will be gone for a few weeks. We are headed to Australia next week. I shouldn't say the last time I'll be live because I may go live while I'm in Australia, but it'll be the last time I'm here working on a furniture piece in my in my workspace with you for a couple weeks. So savor it, enjoy, because I'm going to be gone. Um, I'm doing an event with my Michelle, the Painters Untamed event. Um, there's going to be some awesome sponsors there. I'm super excited to meet everybody. A lot of you guys have asked me about the event since I've been talking about it. It sold out in like a day. So I barely got the chance to post about it. That's why you haven't seen a lot about it on my page um, because it sold out so quickly. So tons of love from Australia. I can't wait to go. Stadium seating? Um, yeah, no. Yeah, mm -hmm. they are. They do have an interest list forming for next year. I don't know who the guests will be um, as of right now for next year, but you can get on that if you're in Australia and want to attend one of these events. Um, it's just outside of Melbourne, so we will be headed there next week, and um, the 18th and 19th is the actual event, so um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with you guys on a new piece this week, and my inspiration for this piece, I actually have already done another piece in this same finish, but um, it's, a, it's a single side table, and single side tables don't usually do very well for me, so I'm going to make it a pair. And it doesn't need to be a matching pair because I'm going to unify them with finishes. So you'll see what I'm talking about when I post the pictures of these pieces together, that even though they're not a matched set and they actually have some real differences in the style, when I put the finishes the same on both pieces, you can make a set out of just about everything. So I really just looked for to make a matching set of side tables that they were complementary in design, meaning the other one also has three drawers. This has three drawers. Um, same height on both, so when they're side by side, it won't look weird like one's super short and one's super tall. Um, so I'm just going to repeat those finishes. And some of my inspiration is coming from a new collection of transfers from Redesign with Prima uh, in these colors here. Super pretty colors. Uh, this is a new collection from them. This is the Autumn Bliss collection. And the transfer I'm going to be using is actually a smaller one in this collection. I'm going to be using the MIDI transfer. Um, and this is the larger one. Uh, this is called Harvest Hues. But the one I'm using is just a smaller, um, same, same florals, but a smaller design. Mine's all cut up. This, that's why I'm showing you guys this, because I already did that matching piece. So I'm going to use the leftover pieces. It's hard to show you when it's all cut apart. Um, so this one's called Harvest Hues. Um, this is a print of it. And I'm going to be using the MIDI transfer in this collection. So that's where I'm pulling my color inspiration from. I just think this is absolutely beautiful coloring. And I, I'm all about the fall time of year. So that's, yeah. yeah, even though Halloween just passed, I'm a day late on that. That's where I'm taking my inspiration from. That would be two days. So what have I done to this piece so far? This piece um, actually is, it's made of a laminate. It's, um, it had a white shiny finish on it. And let's see, I can probably pull this drawer out and show you guys. Shiny. Remember those days from Moana? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you can still see the original factory finish on this piece here on the drawer side. That's what I started with. I'm gonna spill my resin. Oh, jeez. That's what I started with is a, is a laminate finish. So I did um, clean this really well. I scuffed it, scuff sanded it. Uh, using a 120 grit to just take down the shine of that existing finish. And then I put some Wiesel primer on it in light gray. And I chose gray primer on this piece because my colors that I'm gonna go for are orange. I've not done an orange piece in ages. I did this sister piece for this in orange and I love it. It is gorgeous. So we're gonna do another one together. Okay. Alrighty then. The first thing that I did on this is I'm going to go ahead and put some molds on it. Now, I told you the sister piece also has three drawers on it. Um, and I'm this is one of the ways I'm going to unify these pieces. I'm going to use the same molds on this one that I used on that one. So this is the mold that I'm using. This one's called Imperial Intricacy. 
I left the castings in here because the white kind of makes it easier to see the design. And we're going to pop these out and I'm going to show you how I will use these. Julie said there's another brushed by person out there and it's driving her crazy. Oh yeah, there's, um, well, I, I, man, <laughs> I have one that I had to message because it was exact. And I was like, um, this might be a problem. And they were like, well, why? We don't care. And I was like, well, you're going to care because you're not going to be able to get a website. You're not going to be able to get anything with this name on it. So you might want to care. And um, she made a subtle change to it. But there are a couple out there that are like pretty similar. Just make a, a change or two. Um, I'm going to make one brush by Brendy. Yeah, this, this is the this is the OG page right here. I swear there wasn't one when I started. I like looked and there wasn't. Um, okay, so this one here, this mold actually has a hole in the center of it. So it makes it really easy to drill this one out for hardware um, because it already has a hole in the center. This one, the center is a flower, but the flower has a center on it. So I just take my drill when I've got a spot like that and I'm gonna find center on it. Think I can do it and hold it? Yeah, I don't know. That's a, that's, that's brandy that's center. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. All right. So I just drill out the center of it using a drill bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue these onto my piece. So I'm just going to use Type Bond Quick and Thick as, as my adhesive. Oh, this glue. Hey, Sherry, how's the weather out there? You got a friend in Tennessee. I uh, she posted, I think it was like 26 degrees this oh, morning. Geez. Yeah, I told her I got my snuggly blinky at 66. Yeah, it's uh, we haven't used our fireplace out here in California yet, but it's uh, I don't know, it's pretty close. We have a sick kid at home right now. One of our, our youngest has just some random home from school today. Yeah, just some, we don't know who he is, but you won't leave. Sick kid uh, has had a fever today, so we're doing that. It started on Halloween too. We were out trick or treating, and I was like, "You're moving a little slow tonight. You're not as pumped for the candy as you usually are." And he was like, "Nope, I could pass. We can go home now." Oh, look at that, sandblasted by Sean. I gotta start sandblasting. Oh yeah, sprayed by Sean. That is the OG page too. That is an actual legitimate page. However, it has zero content on it, and I tell him all the time because he does make videos spraying for me. I'm like, just post it on there. You'll have something. Like it, it is legitimate content he makes for me. Put it on spray by Sean. Nope, won't do it. All right, so I just added my type on quick and thick to the back side of this mold. I'm gonna line up my hardware hole with the hole that I just drilled in the center of this. Going down. So that in theory, when I put the screw through that hole, it's going to match up. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my mold for the top here. Now I don't want to paint this drawer until uh, until this glue is dry. <laughs> Donna. <laughs> okay, I'm going over to the other page now. <laughs> what sprayed by Sean? Yeah, you do have followers on there. There's some people that have found it. I was like, you better take it or somebody else is gonna take it. <laughs> and then he would have to be the copycat page. Okay. And this will be my top. And I'm, I'm kind of looking to see like if I feel like this has a top or a bottom. You know what I should look at? I should look at the other piece and see Isn't which it way I face it. a little late in life to try to figure that out? It's a little late in the life for a, yeah. a lot of things I'm trying to do right now. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. All right. I want to make it match the other one. So I just went and looked at how I had that. And I have it like this with these little uh, curves on the outside are facing down. So I want to keep it the same on this one. Line it up with that hardware hole. Maybe it's straight. What do you guys think? Does that look pretty straight? How if about I you? Close how one about eye you? and you then lean back, to the side. Back there in the peanut gallery, yep. does that look straight? All right, I do need one more. So let's go ahead and make a casting of this mold for my last uh, one. That doesn't look straight because it just fell off. Oh man. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to use tape on that one. The other thing you can do, add a little bit more glue. And those are made from? These are made from resin. We're going to make one right now. I'll make my last one with you guys. The other thing I can do is I can open this and I have some screws in here. Let's see if they're long they enough. No, they're not. Nope, they're not. Oh, no. Yeah, that won't work. Can you give me a longer screw? Yes. Because I can put a screw through that hole and it'll, out of, it'll serve as a support. I 
painter's tape would work, but I'm just going to go ahead and put a screw through that hole. Here, I think it's the, you probably yeah, this is worked. All right. yeah. And that also helps me to make sure that they're lined up exactly. And I can even use that as a test on this one, make sure my hardware holes are lined up. Yep, that goes right in without an um, issue. So you can put your screw in just to hold that in place. I'm going to add a little bit of painter's tape on the side. I swear I grabbed painter's tape. I remember. Did you set it back down? It was blue. It was a circle. Oh, that's good. Sean's over there digging for painter's tape. It's right there. Oh, that really hurt. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, is Sherry on tonight? Yes. We need to wish Sherry a happy anniversary. It's her wedding anniversary. What? Congratulations. I don't know why you would be on really? tonight. You should be out having a romantic uh, candlelit dinner. That's crazy. Steak dinner at the most expensive place in town. Those places always make me super uncomfortable. That's why it's been so long. Like, I feel like everybody knows I shouldn't be in there. See? They're like, that girl wears overalls all the time. We, we know. <laughs> <laughs> that no. was even pre overall. Yeah. That <laughs> I, yeah, that's true. I just do not belong in anywhere. Uh, well, they br they brought like a cart around to let you pick out your own uh, lobster. And I was like, no, 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 no. It's still alive in there. <laughs> Can't do it. All right, you guys, let's pour one more mold. I just need one of these here. So we're going to go ahead and mix up some resin and we'll go ahead and cast that. You don't have a table or anything you want to grab my stool? I know. I'm going to ask a lot of you tonight because I'm underprepared. I literally, like 30 minutes ago, I was driving home with my kids picking up a bunch of... Uh, i got to get a hold of my union rep. Picking up furniture, surprisingly. But we got it all. We made it home in time, but it means I'm underprepared tonight. The last thing I needed to do was pick up furniture right before I'm about to leave it. On uh, you know, trip. I think somebody said something. All right, I'm going to fill this cup about halfway full. And that's just, I just know about how much resin I need to mix to fill this mold. After you've cast enough, you just start learning how much you need. Um, if you're ever unsure though, I recommend having out a second mold with some smaller pieces in it, like little keyholes or something. I never let resin go to waste. So always pour it. If you, um, if you over mix it, I always pour it into something. Okay, so that's about half of part A. I'm gonna have these wrong. <laughs> I'm driving around on a spare tire and felt like I didn't belong in my neighborhood. Oh no. Yeah, that's awful because you feel like everybody's staring at you when one is like smaller than all the rest. Okay, and I mixed we a are. half of uh, part B and now I'm going to stir them together. About 30 seconds of stirring. I just mixed these in one of my silicone cups. Oh, what glue did you use? A tight bond, quick and thick, of course. And I'm going to slowly pour this into my mold. Um, and I do this when I'm doing these big molds like this, I will come and pour it on the outer edges of a whole bunch of um, all the different parts and I'll let the liquid flow together till they kind of meet in the middle. So that's one little tip on, on filling some of these larger molds is I'll pour it from the outside until it all comes and meets in the middle. And that's how I fill it. And then I, that it also helps me be sure that I don't overfill the mold. I literally made like just enough resin for that casting. How good is that? So impressed right now. Don't throw your shoulder out. Okay, and then I just need my um, my popsicle stick. I've got a little thread right here that I need to feed the resin through. Check, make sure I got everywhere else. One little corner here. All right, and this is gonna be my last casting of this. And it's going onto a flat surface, my other nightstand my sister piece for this had a curved front and these do have flex to them when you first cast them we'll take this out in a few minutes um, so if you've got a curved front to your piece it's best to put them on when they're first cast that's when you're going to get the most flex uh, flexibility out of it but i don't need flex on this one because i've got a flat front okay you guys want to start getting some paint on i'm going to turn it away from the front because obviously i want this glue to dry if I put wet paint over the top of it now, it's gonna impede my glue from drying and I could come back out here tomorrow and that wet paint and, and this glue would still be wet. So because I actually want my glue to dry, I'm gonna turn this and we're gonna work on the side first. You guys will get to see my color combo. A little bold. It's bold for me. 
Okay, so the first color, you ready for bold? Ready for bold? Are you guys all nervous? It's black. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I really am gonna use black, but I'm gonna use that for a little bit of shading. Okay, and then I'm gonna use, I'm using Wysel paint. Um, I'm gonna use Mandarina. <laughs> Orange. It's always on. But. I used to have a flat front too. <laughs> yeah, that was me in middle school. <laughs> Late bloomers, right? It's okay. Oh, it all comes around. Man. Mandarina is this bright orange. I'm going to use this and I'm going to make it look good, you guys. It is so pretty. I guess I could say me too. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Wait, okay. what? And then my next color is actually a mix. So I mix together a little bit of the Mandarina with some Republic Red. Okay, and some iron oxide. Where is my iron oxide? Can I not carry it over here? Maybe I could not carry all of them. All right, let me show you guys the color that I came up with. Okay, so I'm gonna dip my brush in and show you on my piece. This is my mix. Okay, can you see it's it's got all the, the red tones in it, but it's also got a little bit of that brown kind of rush, rusty tones in it. Okay, and I'm just gonna put this right over my coat of primer. And I chose I chose gray primer on this because I kind of knew the color tones that I wanted to use. And this piece started off as white. It would have been harder to cover the white. So taking it to a gray gets me a little bit closer to the color combo that I wanna use on here, which are these reds and oranges with a little bit of black for shading. All right, on this upper edge right here, I've got a little bit of molding, like um, detail molding. So I'm just gonna get my paint in there, make sure I'm covering all that gray primer and get under this front lip. I don't wanna see any more gray. That's my goal with this initial coat is to really not see that gray. I always expect that I'm gonna need two coats of paint. What colors again? Um, this is a mix of Republic Red, which is a true red. Um, um, iron oxide, which is a rust color. And I thought I brought it out. Is it over there on my counter? Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, here, I You're have catched. No, geez. Um, it's this, it's kind of a rusty brown color. You know, the one that's in the container that has no label. It's like the paint with no name. Okay, so that and then a little bit of the orange in there is how I came up with this sort of like, I don't know, what would you call this? It's like a rust color. It's like a rusty red. Yeah. So it really just added a little bit more of the red tones to that um, iron oxide, which is already a red, but it ha that has more brown in it. And I just took down the brown and I turned it a little bit more red. Um, I also, um, I'll mix this on camera for you guys when I do the, the final video on this. But I've had some people message me because I did a piece and I used, um, oh, what was that color? Uh, raspberry beret and it's such a pretty color but I actually I, I, I mixed some colors mixed some colors too and got a really uh, a pretty good match so I'll show you guys also how to mix that if you can't find it probably make like a reel or something on on how to do that okay so I'm just going to kind of frame it out with my uh, color mix that's three colors republic red uh, iron oxide and a little bit of mandarina and then I'm going to put this mandarina in the center the Mandarina doesn't get as great of coverage, but that's okay because I, I am gonna need two coats no matter what, but it's gonna go on light in this first coat. So in this first coat, it's gonna look like, oh my gosh, that's a really light orange. Okay, and then I'm gonna work it into that surrounding color. What glue did you use? Uh, Tight Bond Quick and Thick. That's a hardware store item. That's my favorite glue. It's really all I use. Uh, it's a wood glue, but it also works on plastic, on glass, on, um, you know, in this case, I'm putting it on a laminate. So there's really nothing I can't use it on. So it's kind of an all purpose glue. I'm trying to think of like what other glue I use. I do have like a Gorilla Glue up there, but I don't use that a whole lot. Um, sometimes I might use straight up wood glue if I'm doing a wood, just a wood repair. 
but even the quick and thick works on wood. Okay, so this is my basic color combination. I'm not gonna worry too much about getting this blend super clean because this is just my base coat, but I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna incorporate that black. To do that, I'm gonna tip this up a little bit so I can work down here at the bottom. What the? I'm gonna lean it against my wall and try to not grab the pretty. plaster. That's what Donna said. She sounds just like that too. It is pretty, right? And it, and it tones down that orange. Like orange is not a color. The oh. only the only orange piece that I've ever done is actually in my son's room. And he had um, a Star Wars themed room for a long time. And DV8, right, from Star Wars, is he has orange on him, right? So I did an orange piece for his room. He still has it. It's still orange. It is held up beautifully. It actually has a wax finish on it in a kid's room, and it's done fine. Um, oh, look at that. Huh. Wait, what was that? Hold on. Where was that glue at? Where, what glue was it? I don't remember. Oh. It's a drinking game. How many times I can get you to oh, say Oh, that's what's going. I should have known because I was like, nobody asked that. Who's this one person stuck on repeat about the glue? Me. Yeah, Sean. You guys are going to be drunk by the end of the night. All right, so I just added a little bit of that black to the bottom. And I'm going to blend it up into... So really the only place you're going to see that solid black is going to be on the legs of the piece. On the other piece, I feel like it makes more sense... You know what, I'm gonna blend these out a little bit more. I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna put a little bit of red in the black. Oh man. A little bit of that red mix. You devil. There we go. So it's not quite so solid. The other piece it makes a little more sense on because it's got longer legs on it. So having those dark black, blackened legs. And then this is my black. Um, when I need to do the final color on this, I'm gonna, I'll put these side by side so that I make sure that I actually blend the, that color a little bit better. And then I think I'm going to take the black up a little bit. What? Kind of like this on the sides. What? I don't have this lean very well. It wants to keep you tipping to forward, so I'm super nervous. So I'm going to there do something go. like this, I think. And that way it'll just tie in with that other piece that's got these dark legs on it. And this one doesn't have the, the long legs, but it'll still have where the colors will match up in about the same places, if that makes sense. Nope. Nothing I say ever does. No. All right. So kind of something like that. Again, not going to be too particular about my blend. It always looks terrible on the first coat, guys. That's the job of the first coat. It's to make you question yourself. Like I, a, I had a first coat years ago. Yeah, that was also you in middle school. <laughs> <laughs> Middle school is just a giant first coat. All right, so I'm going to tip this back down. It's a little precarious like that. Let's see. Let's see how this front is doing. I can't really touch the front, but I'm going to come pay attention to the sides. I really need to get those molds glued on. So we'll just kind of work around those for now. But you can kind of see where I'm where I'm going with it. it. It ends up looking like it's just fire. Like that's the only word I have for it is fire. Oh, that's what the kids are saying now, huh? But oh, yeah, when I'm done with this nightstand, they're gonna come out here and be like, Mom, that, that nightstand is fire. Wrong state. Yeah. You can't say fire in California. Oh yeah. They'll 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 non-renew our homeowner's insurance for that. <laughs> uh, although I hear Florida is getting some of that same love from the insurance companies. Uh. Yeah, we um there uh, were just a couple of SoCal fires. Uh there was one down by Temecula. We um they haven't touched our insurance yet, but we have a brand new house, so we have fire sprinklers and our own fire hydrant and uh all the crazy stuff they make you build with in California now. Um but I know that won't last forever. They'll find a way, they'll come for us eventually. Going off grid. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I'm just gonna paint around these fronts for right now. I know I can't do a whole lot with these until that glue is dry. So I'm just gonna go around the frames and I'll come back and pay attention to this front, but I'll at least get, be able to get some paint on it just going around the basic frame. Normally, this is not how I would do this. So I don't know if it's all that helpful that I show you guys this stuff sometimes, because normally, obviously, I would wait for my glue to dry. I would come back and paint it. 
But on camera, like the order of things, I feel like gets messed up sometimes. Because you've got to give the people what they want. Yeah, because I want to show you guys all the steps. And to do that, I have to mess up the order of things. Are you not entertained? Yeah. I want to keep keep you coming back for more. Otherwise, I would be here alone every week. That's my worst fear. My worst fear is I would go live every week and nobody would be here. It would be crickets. Nobody would ask a question. So if you guys ever see someone on live, even if you don't even know what their page is, just stop and be like, hey, what's that you're doing? Like, I'm telling you. You can make someone's night <laughs> if they've got like two people on their live. Hello. Stop and be like, that looks awesome. I don't know. Ask them a question. What color is that you're using? Anything. How long have you been doing this? Anything. Yeah. I'm telling you, you will make someone's night. I couldn't night. tell. Because it is so nerve wracking already. I'm super grateful that, that there's uh, people to interact with because otherwise it's like the most awkward thing ever. I am right here. Yeah. Well. I don't know that you help make the interaction less awkward. That's true. <laughs> okay, and then I've got my black that I'm gonna put down at the bottom. What are you just gonna start saying it just to get the audience drunk? Type, quick and thick. <laughs> this episode brought to you by <laughs> When you want to throw it down quick. Just kidding. I, I don't know. I think I told you guys a while back. I had messaged Type on at one point and was like, hey, I totally love your product. Like, talk about it all the time. And they were like, who are you again? I was like, okay, thanks. Nice talking to you. It's a great product. Go <laughs> kick yeah. rocks. I was like, okay. <laughs> I get the game, guys. We don't know you, but we know that other brush by whoever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, brush by somebody else is already using it. Okay. That's also very much like me in middle school. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you know me, <laughs> but I've been checking you out. <sighs> All right, let's get to the other side. Oh, is my mold done yet? Let's check it out. Yes, it is. Wow. All right, so just in that time since I cast this, I can come back and just flex the silicone around that resin. Yvonne says her insurance in Florida is over 7K a year. Wow. Yeah, I was seeing that Dang. from people who live not far from us. People were saying I saw in the six to $10,000 a year mark. Ugh. We're All not right. there. Yeah. I'm shut my face. I don't want to say that out loud because I feel like if somebody's watching from our <laughs> they're insurance gonna start company, they're going to start up. Like, oh, we've got one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sucker. Yeah, here's one who's not there. She, she, she'll pay it. All right. And you can see I haven't drilled this out yet. So let me show you. In the center, there's a hole on this mold. See how, see how, are you going to fix it? See how wiggly it is? Like, this is the time right now when I would put this on a curved piece, but mine's nice and flat. But it's got tons of flex when they're first cast, just in that first few minutes. If you can do it, put them on now. You ever had bleed through uh, when you put at least two coats of YSL paint on? Bleed, uh, well, yeah, you can. Bleed through uh, is, is, when the tannins are coming from underneath and seeping through your paint. It is a porous paint. Um, it's a chalky style paint. It's water-based. So that's what the primer is for. Um, if you have a piece that has those rich tannins in it, the, which is a lot of the pieces we do are old, you know, rich in tannins. Some of them even can bleed through, you know, primer. And in those cases, you can either apply more coats of the primer or you can um, put shellac on them. What are you doing? Some pieces are just really stubborn bleeders. I was, I had um, no, a no, little... no. Oh, you're putting that other mold on. Yeah, I'm gonna put this other mold on. What are you using? Um, glue. Mm, it's called. It's called adhesive. Glue. It's called. <laughs> Brought to you by. Tight bond, quick and thick. <laughs> All right, and this is gonna be my last mold. I'll go ahead and tape this one. I try to cover everywhere on the back side of the mold, especially around the edges, so that I get good contact. Whoa, ladies, easy. <laughs> Show that bottle. <laughs> Take it down a notch, Pam. We know you guys love some tight bond. Show them some love, but tell them they need to respond to my messages. <laughs> Stop <laughs> ghosting me. Brush by. Yeah. That's, I'm going to start putting tape over it. You know when they don't want to show you like on a TV show if somebody's wearing like a logo shirt and they don't want to show it to you, they do like one of these. Oh, this is true. Yeah. Sean was drinking. Yeah, it'd be, yeah, it'd it'd be, be more fun. This is what I'm going to be showing you guys from, you, from now on. It's going to be, and I'm just going to write on here. 
Glue. I only have an orange <laughs> sharpie. It's, it's all gonna the say generic. Glue. Adhesive. Glue. Please do okay. not ingest. Yeah, that's what I'm using. Until, oh, it's glue. Until, but it still says quick and thick. No, sorry. Let me get oh another piece gosh. of paper. <laughs> another piece of tape. Okay? Uh, until they show me love, I'm not. Not saying it. It's just a glue. Okay? It could be Elmer's. Could be, I don't know. Could be what? What's the name gorilla, of that glue? Gorilla, <laughs> gorilla glue. Yeah. Could be an Acme. I don't know. Who else makes glue? Oh, it's Acme glue. glue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna blow starting up. Starting my own glue company. Okay, let me put this mold on here. I'm gonna put my um, screwdriver in as my hardware since I don't have another screw for this so that I can line that up. It's a weird angle for me right here. Yep. That's yeah, curling. And get this nice and straight. Well, yeah, it didn't help that I bent it all up. I yeah. had it, it was a straight mold and then I wanted to show you the flex and so I that's right. Made it all flexy. Roadrunner glue. Brought to you yeah. by. If I had different glue, it would probably work better. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and tape this one on too. <clears throat> this tape really only needs to stay on for like 10 minutes, and that glue sets up. all. It just needs to set up enough that it's not going to sag. Also, like me. I'm, just, I'm not, not, yeah, not, in high, uh, not in high school, uh, though. Yeah. <laughs> that was more post children. Uh, I do yeah. want to make it to my next anniversary. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and let's go ahead and do this side. I probably won't be able to touch the front uh, much tonight, but I'll at least get around the body of this. And then when we come back, it's usually how it works. When we come back post um post uh huh? Australia posty, we'll we'll keep working on this piece. And uh, eventually, as we get close to the end, I'll show you what the sister piece looks like, and we'll see if we came to a pretty close match or not. That's my plan. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I pick up, a, you know, single nightstands are great to work on on camera. They're a nice size. I can move it around. Um, it's it's comfortable to, you know, to Donna, work on. Donna, totally leaving that alone. What? She said her cheeks hurt. <laughs> That's wide open, Donna. <laughs> um, do, do, do. But uh, one night stands. There you go. What? Yep. One night stands are a bad idea. Well, Cindy says she got uh, released from wound care. You did? <clears throat> Completely? No more HBO and weekly treatments. What, what about the um, what about the hyperbaric chamber? What? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Well, that, yes. She prepping for a space block or what, what, what <laughs> yes. is she doing? Well, she's like bionic now, I think. Cindy is a breast cancer survivor and she has been fighting it and fighting it and fighting it. Done an amazing job. So Great job. guys, yes, everybody send some love to Cindy. We've all been touched by breast cancer. Uh, it is, uh, well, actually, no, we just wrapped up Breast Cancer Awareness Month, huh? That was October. Yep. Shoot, Cindy, I'm always a day late. <laughs> Have I packed anything? <laughs> my attitude. <laughs> I told the kids in the car, I was like, I told them, we're getting out the, this is my mandarina that I'm coming in, in with. Coming it's in hot. scary. Um, I told the kids today in the car, I was like, we're getting out the suitcases this weekend. Everybody's getting packed because I have to do the, the luggage check. Because if I just let them pack, they would end up with like 14 pairs of socks, no underwear, one shirt. You know, it would be one of those deals. So I have to do the full check for the whole family, not just pack myself. It's like, you know, every every kid gets a luggage check. We have to check the weather. Make sure they have a jacket because I did see like there is some sprinkles in the forecast. All right, I'm gonna really perfect this. You guys will see when we come back, but that's a really pretty, like that's just a really pretty combo. Second coat on this is like, it totally comes together on the second coat for this these colors. All right, a little bit of black and I'm gonna bring that up like we did on the other side. Just my first coat. I don't put a lot of 
a lot of thought into this first coat if you stress on it. I don't know, although it could be a good time if you're if you're struggling with blending, then this first coat could be a good practice coat if you really wanted to put in some practice <clears throat> on it. I'm good. You know, you can practice on all your coats. What are you going to do to the top? Uh, the top will be a blend to match. That's exactly what I did on the other piece. It has the same exact blend on the top that I did on the bottom. So exactly the same um, combo that I'm doing on this side here. Um, although I think I just did the red mix and the orange. Crazy kangaroo souvenir? Who's Nick, that? Did Nikki tell you this? Oh, yes. Oh, I haven't showed him, Nikki. I haven't showed him. <laughs> when he said that, I was like, what did she do? Oh, yes. Now I remember. Yeah, she did. I have to show you guys. I have to show you guys. I didn't show them. What? Yeah. <laughs> they're they're going to like it. We've been like super stressed on planning everything, making sure we've got all of our, you know, uh, car rental and all our lodging and where are we going when we're there and what order are we going in and um, all that stuff stresses me out. I'm a homebody, guys. If I, I don't have this, like... I'll uh, send postcards. Yeah. Sean maybe could travel if he had a different wife, um, but he has me, so... Is this an awkward time? And I'm a homebody. Is this an awkward time to tell you? Well, it would only be awkward if she's in Australia. Like, are we gonna, oh, that's true. Are we doing dinner? No, we're going to pick her up on the way. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see. I think my glue is probably dry. Except for down here at the bottom, I could probably like down mm, under. Yeah, this is a do as I do as I say, not as I do. Don't paint when your glue is wet, oh, guys. Oh, no tipping in Australia. Oh, I do like that. We found that even in the UK, because here in the states, every your bill just it comes with it. It's like expected. It's not even a question. Everywhere you go for everything. Um, I mean, I've been listening to like radio shows and stuff that are talking about like how out of control it's gotten. It'll be even in like a drive through you know, like, what? yeah, people asking for a tip, you know, just like, I, which I, which I, guess, I give like, them a job application, which I guess like you can ask for it all you want, you know, it doesn't mean you have to, but it's for some, um, for some occupations, it's just expected. But yeah, even in the restaurants we found in the UK that it was a state, they, they uh, if you did want to leave a tip, it had to be a separate, separate transaction. Separate transaction, and they look at you funny. Yeah, they, because uh, Like we, they're happy, but they look at me funny. We had one server uh, in Ireland, and he was so nice. Like he genuinely- Oh, the pizza we, joint. Yes, at yeah. the pizza joint. And he was so nice and so helpful, like telling us where we could go and what we could do and- uh, super attentive and he he genuinely earned it you know and those are the people where I'm like okay I want to go out of my way to leave something for you too because I was so he just was a nice guy nice kid but probably a college kid and um and so that we did go out of our way to make sure we tipped him and it was like a hard thing to do <laughs> it was not easy so they make sure like are you sure wait you really want to <laughs> leave you really want to leave more money not less um so that was kind of an interesting experience because here the here they're like oh yeah we already charged you your tip do you, do you want to leave more tip because we are we're going to charge you for it no matter what all right i will need to tip this up on its back because i'm going to want to see up underneath these molds and make sure i cover all this white i don't want to see any of this white I'm a little close to my wall right now. Uh, otherwise, I would tip this up. I also, um, because this is so wet, I'm deliberately not using water right now because that glue is so wet. I will just soften the glue back up again. So I'm deliberately not going to use water, but water would help me find all the details on this mold, help that paint sink into all those details. Do not paint your mold while the glue is wet. What? Be patient. What glue? Uh, this episode brought to you by? Glue. Glue. Okay. Is it spelled right? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is that Swedish? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> glue. <laughs> glue. <laughs> I'm going to use some uh, water down here, just not on the mold. Because I do want to kind of work the orange and the red together.
Torquedo. So I don't know. That's good to hear because honestly, I think the tipping thing in the States has gotten all out, full blown out of control. Like it is, it is way out of control. Well, here we're at what, 15 an hour? Minimum yes. wage? Yeah, I mean, the minimum wage is already like $47 an hour. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Well, Apparently they like you. Here's an example. <laughs> Like, my son is 15, okay? He has a minimum wage job. It's insane. Yeah, it's it really is. He's 15. I joke that I can finally take advantage of it. Yeah, that's who, that's, you know, he, he's a 15-year-old with a minimum wage job. And I'm like, I think he has, like, full retirement. <laughs> like He's, he's like, already kicked in pension. A, he's got a 401k. Which, you know, like, good for him. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little mad about it, but. <laughs> <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> Yeah, but it's honestly like, I mean, when I first started working, this is, see, it makes, it just makes you sound old. It's totally futile. I'm what? just going to stop talking now. Uh, you know how, yeah. I've, I've prayed for this day for years. <laughs> when I would get as old as you are? No. Oh. Okay, this coat looks terrible. I've got to skip this drawer completely because that's where the glue is super wet. Um, and I'm not happy with this blend. So pretty much I don't like the front of this at all. And I should have just listened to what I said to you guys. I didn't haven't done around my drawer edges because I don't want to mess with my mold to open the drawers. Got a bunch of white spots here. Not happy with this at all. Huh, dollar ninety-seven an hour. Oh, but he's on. Um, buck ninety-seven an hour. First job, huh, Donna? Oh yeah, huh. that was like for in California. Yeah. That was like nineteen twenty-seven. When people made. What, do you remember that? No, but even when I first started working, it was it was four and four, a quarter, four bucks, yeah, four dollars. Four dollars? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah, and I uh, my first job I had was part of this program that would come pick up all the poor kids from our, and uh, take, and take us on a bus to go dig, dig fire trails in the state park and clean the ponds in the state parks. Yeah, now that would be like slave labor. They would they would be sued if they yeah. were doing that now, and that was my first job. It was awful. It was hot and you got ticks and like, like it was awful. I mean, it sounds like a good time. <laughs> yeah, it was super fun. <laughs> and I was like, I got bed bugs. And, yeah. Sounds, yeah. <laughs> that's a treat. It makes me itch just thinking about it. All right, you guys. I have a video coming out on my YouTube channel this weekend. It is going to be the gold and blue vanity that we worked on together, the desk that we worked on together with the gold leaf top. It came out so pretty. So pretty. Wait till you see the photos of it. Um, so I'm going to be sharing that one with you guys. Uh, that's my next YouTube video coming up. And um, when I get back from Australia, which will not be till after Thanksgiving, we will finish working on this piece. So this will be my last live. I won't be live here. I think I'm going to miss three weeks. Yeah, I what? am. Because we get back on a Thursday. How? What? Yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah. So I think yeah. I missed three weeks of three lives, weeks. you guys. So pay attention to my pages, though, and I will be sharing with you from the event in Australia. And of course, my vacation photos, like them or not, you're getting them. Why do um, I need them? Yeah. So that'll probably be some of the next stuff that you see instead of lives. If I can, I will go live from the event and just share with you guys what it looks like behind the scenes. That's always fun to do. Oh, Montgomery Wards. Oh, ah, oh yeah. yeah, I remember that we bought uh, Emporium, our- Emporium, Capwell, you know, those, those- We bought our first entertainment center there, you remember? for no, I don't. For like a giant box TV. Yeah, because my sister just sent it to me that uh, she gave it to a girl and the girl was selling it. And she sent it to me and I was like, oh my gosh, we bought that at Montgomery Wards like 57 years ago. What? Yeah, we're that old now. Yeah. That's so weird. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, you guys, if you see me on, I will be on opposite time zones too. So that's what makes it hard from, uh, from the States. I'll be on opposite schedule. So if you see me on, pop on and say, hi, I'm going to miss you guys for the next few weeks. I probably won't talk to you a whole lot. I'll be on opposite time zones. I'm so jealous. Um, yeah, but, uh, but hang out. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, go subscribe to that. Um, and yeah, other than that, I will catch you guys when I get back and we will celebrate and we'll do, do up a live. We'll, we'll do, do all it, the things. We'll do it right. Yeah, it's going to be almost Christmas though. And I'm going to still be working on fall colors. Yeah, all right. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Who cares? All right, you guys. Uh, shout out to Glue. And, uh, what? I'll, and I'll catch you guys in a few weeks.